Hello, I am the Max of Few Trades, and welcome to Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. I don't have an intro for this, so we're just gonna start playing right now. Begin! Sly! Come in! Sly! Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Nice of them to state the names of all the characters in that small bit of dialogue there. Anyway, as you are no doubt aware, this game has full voice acting, which is something I am completely unused to, and I'm going to have to learn how to work around. So, everyone, please just work with me here. I'll try and figure out something. Either way, time for more talking. Hey, Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Convenient. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button, and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. The circle button pretty much does everything forever in these games. Anyway, I've decided to play this game because I freaking love the Sly Cooper series more than you have any idea. They are just so awesome, and since Sly Cooper 4 is finally, you know, reaching a, you know, it's getting closer and closer to actually coming out, I decided why not, why not go and try and play this very awesome game. As you can see, I am Sly Cooper, I am a master thief, I am undetectable by anyone and any, it is nearly impossible to ever know that Sly Cooper has ever been around. Except for right now, because I fell and I smashed the alarm. See? Master Thief. No one will ever know I was here. Nice job, you're in. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. It's vitally important we say her entire name each time we mention her. Ah. It's been a long time since I've been uh, recording, so I gotta get back into the groove of things. You're going to have to forgive me. Door must be super reinforced, Sly. Maybe there's a way to get around it. Well, I see a conveniently opened window, so let us take advantage of that. And very stealthily break things as we sneak around. And then break all of our stuff. Because this is what Master Thieves do. Break everything. And grab all the money. And a big giant safe. Way to go, Sly! This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. Well, duh. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. Can do, Mr. Turtle. And just like that, we have opened this vault and grabbed a thing. We do not know what this thing is, but we will soon enough. Nice job! You got it! If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. Alright then. I'll just leave this obvious clue as to who was here. Gotta make gotta make sure everyone knows I was here. So, you know, other than setting off that alarm and smashing everything in this uh, police officer's built, uh, office room, I believe we, uh, we stealthfully got through this. No one will ever know we were here, and oh crap! You foolish raccoon! I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ha, uh -huh. and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Okay, time to get out of here. Okay, 
this, this, this does not seem like something a police officer should be doing. Granted, I, I am not in law enforcement, but I don't think it's a very good idea to smash as much thi as as much public property as you possibly can in the pursuit of a criminal. But then again, what do I know? And now you're just breaking police cars. I certainly hope your boss knows what you're doing. Because this is most uncouth, I must say. Well, either way, we're out of here. Later, lady. You can't escape me, raccoon. Well, I just did, so ha! Shake your fist at me. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found... The Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. And another cutscene down the tube. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button. Figure this out on my own, Bentley. Don't need your help. Anyway. I've you... already Wait, plotted what? a route to our first target. Bentley, your lips are not moving. You are a ventriloquist. That is quite horrifying, honestly. Okay, so I believe I'm going to end this episode here. It was short and mostly cutscenes, and I apologize for that, but this is a completely new experience for me. I'm trying to figure out what works here, what doesn't. But I'm confident this will actually end up being a pretty good LP. And in the next part, we will set off into this particular location to begin the game proper. Oh. And hello. You want one? Aha! It's funny because he is a fat hippo, of course. Anyway, I have been the Max of Few Trades. I hope you enjoyed this, as short and as awkward as it was, and I'll see you next time.